Oh. In an auto state like Michigan, there's always a big need for workers in the trades. Historically, women have been left behind in what was typically considered male jobs. But one local school district is working to close that gender gap. So we're going to bring in Paul Tubman. She is live in Sterling Heights for us this afternoon, where a district is really seeing some real and pretty cool results, Paula. Yeah, I think so, because the focus for so many decades has been college, college, college. Not the case anymore. I wanted to bring you down this corridor because it looks so rugged. But what's really cool about this is really who's behind these masks. The man behind the welding mask is not a man at all, but 17-year-old Christina, a student in the Utica School District who's already working, learning a trade, and in the feeder pipeline for companies desperate for workers. I think trades are a lot better than like going to college, but that's just for me. I don't want to spend like four years in college. I really like just doing it right out of high school. It's hard not to catch Khadija's excitement for her traditionally male work. It's pretty exciting. I never expected from four years back then, I never expected myself to be able to do such an amazing thing. But historically, when a student didn't choose college, they left high school in droves for lower level, low paying jobs. By teaching trades that traditionally appealed to men, it meant high school, non-college bound males had a place to go, but not many women. They were forced into unskilled, low level jobs and pay. But with the trades academies, like the two in the Utica School District, the Utica Center for Science and Industry, and Stevenson Made, Stevenson Center for Manufacturing, Automation, and Design Engineering, where they are proactively recruiting women, it means outside of the high school walls, women can find and reach parity with their male counterparts. We have over 30 business partners locally that are desperate to hire our kids. Um, they're in here teaching our classes, they're working on student projects uh, because they need to hire. At CSI, for instance, which opened in 2008, they initially had one female student enrolled. Now there are 134, or roughly 40 percent of the total enrollment. I thought going to that company, I was going to be seen as an, a kid, but I was actually talked to as an adult and all my ideas were taken. At the end of the day, whether students are jumpstarting their college and professional careers with these kinds of focused academies or jumping directly into the working world, more women in our state will have the ability to be on pay levels on par with men because they are being courted and understand they can be at the high school level. When we started this GM project, there were guys that were like saying, oh, your group is gonna be carrying you because it's two other guys. And I said, I'm gonna be putting in my work. I'm gonna be doing the same as what you guys are gonna be doing. Yeah, exactly what she said. By the way, what Khadijah was holding with that vacuum cleaner, she wasn't vacuuming. She was actually designing improvements to that industrial vacuum cleaner. That's what they're teaching here. They've got another academy opening next year, Karen. Impressive program and love how that piece ended with Lexi. Some strong words there. Thanks, Paula.